Over the last 20 years, I conducted research in how to bring periodization to dance education. 10 years ago, I brought it to Artes to reform the program of the Bachelor of Dance and Maker. Periodization is a well-established notion in sports, but not so familiar for dance. What we try to do is reform the curriculum to create an intertwined program to support as well performance as in prestation and creativity. To create and present the most amazing performances, excellent performers are a must. To become an excellent performer, mastering your dance technique isn't enough. It takes training and knowledge of your body to excel in your performance. At Artes, learning how to train is part of your education. We work with a system called periodization, which consists of a balanced program of rehearsals, performances, education, and rest. Through periodization, we minimize the risk of injuries and offer you the best preparation for the working field. When uh, we started the system, we had a lot of students that were not performing optimal. We had a nice program, but it didn't function the way we wanted it to. Uh, so by using this system, we reduced the amount of injuries and the students could find their own place in the working field better than before. So apparently, by using the system, we are delivering uh, students that could find a job, that could move around the world and be ready for the working field in the best way possible. To ensure the best artistic development of the students, Artes has developed an extensive health policy. By focusing on the right build-up throughout the curriculum, the staff helps students in learning how to use their body in the correct way. The body is a very fine-tuning machine or uh, instrument, I would say, that uh, needs a lot of care. Dancers in usual um, daily life, they want to do just a lot give me to move from morning till night so the more classes they think the better but we know and we have proven also that the body must have resting hours and more is not always better for the body because it, it, it uh, borders on uh, overuse so we have to teach the students to also rest enough and to protect themselves so sometimes in the program we have half a day of resting time and they don't know sometimes what to do with the time in the first year but by the second and the third year they know exactly how to plan their free time and what to do in order to really rest. The choreographers who work with the students are well aware of the importance of health in training. They are in close contact with the healthcare professionals and discuss any issues they encounter. Artistically, sometimes there is a little bit of confusion with health and dance because it is a physical, uh, a physical uh, art, but at the same time, it, and it's very demanding. And sometimes we cannot be, we have to balance it. What is actually, how, how, much, how far can we go? As a dancer, actually, you know when it's good, okay, or when it's really not good. The body knows because we are much more trained for that. As a student it's more different because they are still developing it. But in the career while you are dancing you understand better how your body works or your needs, what you need, what you what do you need to take care of during the process of your career. Even though everyone works with great care to prevent injuries, sometimes an injury occurs anyway. Our health policy is designed to provide a solid and speedy recovery. The health coordinator works from inside Artes with a network of healthcare partners outside the school, such as a general practitioner and specialist at Rheinstatter Hospital and sports medical centre Parpendal. The specialists are very involved in the programme. They visit Artes, we have meetings over here. So they, in the years they learn more what's going on here at school. So that brings them also a little bit more understanding what really is necessary at the moment when we ask them a question. Thanks to this strong network, the health coordinator can contact the specialist directly. Usually there is a diagnosis within 24 hours. 
This allows students to receive the right treatment immediately without having to wait weeks for an examination. At Rheinstarter Hospital, the orthopaedic surgeon works together with a sports physician to treat severe injuries. They provide each student with specific medical care. Further down the road, after recovering from surgery, the student works on rehabilitation at Sports Medical Center Parpendal, where a physiotherapist helps the student to get back into shape and begin to relearn to trust their body. Back at Artes, the transitional phase marks the last part of the rehabilitation. The student is ready to go back to class. A transition trainer guides the student with a dancer-specific rehabilitation program in which the student learns how to build up their strength of movement in order to facilitate their full participation. The translation of the normal movement to the dance-specific movement I think is something that helps them to be more secure about it. When they really know plie I can, grand plie I can't. I can do the bar, I can't do the center. I can do classical, but I cannot go for modern for the next two weeks. And that's the language that they are used to, and, uh, and they hear something specific about that, until the point that they know it themselves, and then they don't need to hear it anymore. By teaching the students how to trust their body and train it correctly, the students can utilize this knowledge to prevent injuries and to excel in their artistic development. For me as an audience member, I just want to see a very good performance or a very good creation. And this, the system of the health makes that possible. Perhaps it's good to remind ourselves that what we saw in this film today is the result of 10 years hard and intense collaboration. This does not happen overnight but it's absolutely worth it.